Well, welcome, welcome back, everybody. Um, as you can see, the, the, the painting itself has gone through a little bit of change since the last time uh, we met. But all I have really done is to uh, go through the, the procedure that, I, that I've been talking to you about, but continued uh, drawing, watching, watching my portrait in the mirror, which is very close now, going through and, and re, just readjusting, reevaluating every little thing in, in, the, in the attempt to try and make as good a likeness as I can. I think that there's some value in, actually there's a lot of value in uh, trying to develop a likeness in this particular uh, kind of an image because what we're doing here is we're not only uh, learning how to paint in, in a particular way, but it's also sort of the approach, the general approach to, um, you know, to learning how to see a little bit more clearly, to see, and the seeing clearly and being able to associate one thing to another while you're, while you're seeing is how you uh, begin to have confidence that you can draw not only just a picture of yourself in a mirror, but if you apply the same principles, you can paint and draw anything that you see uh, in this manner. You know, you know I, I, um, I've been thinking in, in the, in the, in the, lately about uh, this particular painting and this particular lesson, I should say this lesson, and how it applies to uh, to our approach to to painting generally, you know, I think that this that this method that I'm that I'm employing right here can be beneficial in a lot of different ways. Um, like I say, in a lot of in a lot of different ways. One of the things that I think should be valuable, and I hope it's coming across here, is that you can. You don't have to be perfect with your skills, but you do have to, you have to be able to pay attention, to recognize when things are out of, out of sorts a little bit, out of whack, but have the confidence, you should be able to have the confidence with this particular technique to say, okay, well, I can, uh, I can change that. Uh, I'll just go back and, and, uh, and change it. It doesn't have to be perfect right from the get-go. And as you can see now, you, from the very beginning when we had that little charcoal sketch on this, on this canvas, now we have a, have a picture that is really beginning to take shape. You know, everything is, the, the colors and highlights and form, it's all pretty, getting pretty close. One of the things I thought I would tr try to do today is to, uh, is to get into some of the little fancy bits. I doubt very much that I'll take this painting right to completion for you, because that's, that's uh, not the real important thing here. You'll, you'll take the painting as far as you want to take it when you're, when you're working on your own. Uh, but I'll show you a few of the little, a little fancy bits that, that we're starting to get into now, because I'm pretty well uh, along with the face itself. There's a lot of uh, refinement to be done, but the refinement is just a question of, t uh, it's just about taking what we've been doing and just taking it further and further until you feel that you really can't do any more. But there are areas like in the background, I'm going to throw a little bit more color. This is just, an, if you remember here, this is just an initial sort of a color that we put up in here. I'm going to, I'm going to give it another, another coat. The reason you want to do that is you want to start getting a, a, a feel of of lighting in relationship to some sort of color in the background so that you can distinguish your lights and your darks as much as you want to. Uh, I'm going to work a little bit on this headpiece. Um, I've, I've done a, I've added a little bit of color to it, uh, m but that was really making sure, use, using the colors there to make sure that I'm getting the right shape of the thing. That's important because it sort of gives a contour to the entire face. But I'm going to do, give it a little bit more detail today. And 
And then maybe we'll go down and do the, some of these beads, and you can see how to work a little bead. Uh, might do a little bit of the hair here. Now, the hair, is when, when somebody has long hair like I do, and it changes every 10 minutes, uh, you have to sort of be careful. One of the things that I like to do, um, in a case like this, I might get the hair in pretty much the idea, the ideal place for this painting. And then maybe I might take a snapshot of it and, uh, and have that from my reference so that I can at least maintain the same sort of curling or whatever and, and uh, I don't have to keep changing it all the time. Um, this area down in here this, where it's white now, that's a shirt and it's very boring and uh, I'm, you know, I'm not too excited about working on that uh, with you right now. It's just in order to finish that you just go through the same process as we did before and, and just paint a shirt. Um, so let's get going. <laughs> 